All right, so let's see if you understand enough algebra to solve this two-variable linear inequality. So here is the problem. We have y is greater than or equal to x minus 4. Now, the solution to this inequality is actually a graph. But uh, if you think you know how to do this, go ahead and describe that graph in the comments section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this step by step. All right, so one more time, we have y is greater than or equal to x minus 4. What is the answer? Well, let's take a look at the solution. So the solution is some sort of graph like this. Okay, so here we have the x, y plane, and then this black line right here is actually the linear equation y is equal to x minus 4. Now, the important part about this graph is that uh, this region above the line is shaded. This is actually the solution region. Okay, so if you have something like this, well, that indicates to me that you did this right, which means you're going to get a happy face and an A+. Now, if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I am totally confused what's going on. Well, let me show you exactly how to solve a two-variable linear inequality. This is very important for those of you out there that want to understand algebra. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now, the first thing that you're gonna need to know how to do is graph linear equations, okay? So again, we're talking about basic algebra here, and you should be able to uh, hopefully know how to graph lines, okay? So a line is a linear equation, okay? When we see, um, of course, if I'm speaking graphically, this is a line, the equation to this line would be a respective a linear equation, right? So here's a linear equation. It would have a graph of a line. Notice the word a linear that I'm saying, right? Linear, uh, let me go write this out, linear. Okay, just look at the root word, uh, line, right? So a linear equation. Now, but here, we're not dealing with an equation, we're dealing with an inequality. So what do we need to be thinking? Well, what we need to kind of temporarily think about is like, okay, I know this is inequality, and some of you might be a little bit confused about that. Just think temporarily, all right, if this was an equal sign and I was asked to graph this line, what would I do? Okay, what would I do? Now, hopefully you understand how to do, uh, you know, how to graph a line. And there's various techniques that you could use, all right, using uh, the slope-intercept form, i.e. y equals mx plus b, would be the easiest. By the way, if you need uh, any help with graphing lines, writing the equation of lines, inequalities, all this kind of basic algebra stuff, I have a ton of uh, additional videos on my YouTube channel, uh, but I'll probably direct you towards like my pre-algebra or algebra one course if you truly want to full, uh, fully master this stuff. Okay, so again, first things first, we want to graph the line. Okay, well, temporarily, just think of this as an equation and we'll graph the line or think about the steps required to graph this linear equation. Right now, there are, there are a couple different, different uh, twists here, but again, this is step number one. So let's go and take a look at that right now. So to graph this line, this linear equation, okay, this has a slope of one. This is our uh, y-intercept, uh, negative 4. Again, I'll draw your attention to y equals mx plus b. So this uh, lovely linear equation here is in uh, slope-intercept uh, form. So I could just go to negative 4. That's the y-intercept right here. And I know this has a slope of 1, so it's rise and run, okay, is 1 over 1 positive, right? It's a positive 1, so the line's going to be going upward like so. Okay, so I can just go up one and over one. So I can just have a reference point right there. Now, I'm not asking you to put too much detail on your graph, okay? You should put a couple of additional points. But if you just put, like, let's say you turn this into me and I was grading your paper and you had, let's say, graph paper and you showed me that, okay, you understand how to graph this line, I'll be okay with it. Okay, so anyways, here's this up one over one. So this is going to be our point. Now we're going to draw our line Okay, sketch our line through these two points. But here is an additional twist to this problem. Now, before we draw our line, okay, at this uh, point, our first step was to kind of get ready to graph this line. We're going to think of this as a line. Now, at this point, we're going to be focusing in on the inequality, 
Okay, so we're going to now take a good look at the inequality symbol. So anytime you have a greater than, equal to, or a less than or equal to, you're always going to have a solid line. You're always going to uh, sketch or draw a solid line. If you have a greater than or less than, it's going to be a dotted line, okay, dashed line like so. Okay, now I'll explain uh, why that is, but that's the first, the, this is the second thing you need to keep in mind. You're like, okay, I'm ready to uh, actually graph this line, but don't do it yet. Look at the symbol, okay, and be like, all right, what inequality symbol? Do I, oh, it's equal to, so when I do sketch this line, it's going to be a solid line, but oftentimes it will be a dashed line, again, if this is uh, greater than or less than. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here is my lovely solid line. All right, so that is kind of like the first set of skills. Now, if you don't know how to graph linear equations, of course, you're not going to be able to uh, solve or graph linear inequalities. And it's extremely important that you know how to uh, uh, find the solutions to linear inequalities because you're going to be doing a ton of this stuff in algebra, systems of inequalities, um, to kind of, you know, there's a ton of problems there, quadratic uh, inequalities that kind of work similar to uh, other procedures are kind of similar to this. So you just need to know this, okay? So again, anything you don't understand, make yourself a nice little math shopping list. You're like, oh, you're just like, go to the store. You're like, oh, I need some uh, water. I got to get some pretzels. I got to get some whatever. So just, you know, like, oh, yeah, I need to pick up some skills on how to graph a line. I don't understand this. Just make yourself a list and then go get those skills. That's how you learn anything. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, this stage... What we need to do now before we continue on I have a quick question for you are you enjoying this content well if you are please consider hitting that subscribe button this really does help me out on YouTube and if you're going to do that hit that bell notification as well I will definitely uh, appreciate that also if you need additional help in math check out my math courses you can find links to those in the description of this video also, I'm going to give you uh, some specific recommendations at the end of this video. All right, so let's get back to the problem. So when you're dealing with uh, linear inequalities, two variable linear inequalities, after we graph a solid or dashed line, what we need to keep in mind is one side of this line or the other is true, the other side is false. In other words, this is either the true um, side and this is the false side, or maybe this is the false side and this is the true side. And what we want to do is shade the true side. Now, what do I mean by true? Well, basically, any point in any one of these regions, okay, let's take a point here, for example. All right, so we, of course, we saw the answer. This is the true side. Uh, any uh, point, any x, y order pair will satisfy this inequality, okay? So I don't want to get uh, too far ahead of this. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of uh, stress this point here in a second, okay? So now we need to figure out which is the true side, which is the false side. All we need to do is test one side. So let's go ahead and test uh, this side here, the upper part, the upper part of this line. We'll test the point zero, zero. You always want to test the point zero, zero because it is the easiest point to test. Now, the only time you don't test this point zero, zero is if, uh, if in fact, your line actually crosses through it. Okay, so we can't, you know, we'll have to use another point if your line crosses through the origin. Okay, but here this line isn't going through the uh, center, the origin, so we'll just test at zero, zero. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is we're going to plug in uh, 0 for x and 0 for y. We're going to plug this in into our inequality and we're going to see what this thing tells us. All right, so we'll plug in, uh, we'll place that y with a 0 and we'll replace this x with a 0. So now we have 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 4, right, which simplifies down to 0 is greater, greater than or equal to negative 4. Now we have to ask the uh, question, is this true or false? Is 0 in fact greater than negative 4? Okay, so for those of you that are confused, the answer is true. Here is zero. Here is negative four. So, you know, uh, think about it this way, right? Of course, zero is a larger value. That might be it seem kind of weird, but would you rather have zero dollars or negative four dollars, right? Negative four dollars is well, not only do you don't have any money, you owe someone else 
negative, uh, you owe someone else $4 and you have no money. Or if you have just $0, you don't know anybody, you just don't have any money, right? So of course, zero is greater than negative four, indicating that in fact, this is true. Okay, so this point here represents a true uh, statement, which means that any point, any XY point on this side of the line will produce a true statement as well. And now let's kind of go back to the solid line. So what the solid line means is that any point that's actually on the line will also produce a true statement. So if it's a dashed line, points that are on that line are not part of the solution set. Okay, so the final step here is just to uh, uh, shade this side of the line. Okay, so here is our lovely XY plane and you have uh, a line, okay? And uh, you can have a couple reference points here. I have negative four, and then this part above the line is shaded. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.